Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome to another episode of Some Damn Good Wine, Some Damn Good Times. And today's topic, uh, I'm going to talk about um, decanting, whether or not to decant, when you should decant, and when it really doesn't matter when uh, you decant or not. So, uh, we'll get right to it when we come back. Hey, welcome back everyone. So, uh, the topic of today, decant or not decant? That is the question. Uh, Let's first go over what decanting is. Decanting is, by definition, literally pouring liquid, in this case, wine, uh, or a solution from one container to the next. Uh, Focusing on not Uh, pouring out the sediment as well, so basically separating the sediment while you're decanting. Uh, And then the next thing is that we should talk about or just cover very quickly is what is a decanter? A decanter is a container or a vessel uh, typically in the shape of a vase but with a wider um, base. So when you have that wider base Uh, It allows more surface area for the wine to um, travel within this container. Okay, so now that we've got that covered, decanting. Decanting really is just to um, separate it. Well, actually, it does a couple of things. Um, At first, it allows the wine to aerate because you know while just before drinking a wine could be closed meaning the aromas and the flavors are not uh, open or present yet so it needs interaction with oxygen to open that right up and allow you to experience in full the potential of the wine that's being decanted so um When you're pouring the wine into a decanter, because of that wide base, the decanter, the wine uh, now has more of a surface area to be swirled around within this decanter so that it can interact with the oxygen aerating uh, the wine so that it opens up all the complexities and the aromas and, and the flavors so that you can fully enjoy this wine. Um, it also serves a second purpose uh, to decant wine is when you're decanting like in let's say an older vintage wine uh, there should be a lot of sediment at the base of the bottle um, the wine bottle and you it's okay you know if you get some of those uh, get some of the sediment within your glass uh, because what sediment is, is when the wine starts to break down, it breaks down its uh, protective packet, as you would say. Um, It's made up of the tannins from the oak, if it was, if the wine was oak aged, or, um, you know, if um, the, the wine has a lot of tannins from the grape skins and the grape pulps and the seeds, so that tannin actually acts as a protective um, barrier for the wine, so that the wine has aging potential and does not spoil as easily. So over time, that sediment starts to break down and drop to the bottom of the wine bottle, uh, or on its side, depending on how you're storing that wine, Uh, and as it breaks down, it starts to release or uh, reveal actually is a better word to reveal the the wine the true wine itself uh, so that you can have a full experience of the aromas and the bouquet and the, 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 the palate you know the flavors so that you can have a more complex palate and have a, an extremely full experience of this wine So, um, while you're pouring the wine, you typically pour the wine into the decanter slowly so that the sediment 
uh, does not end up inside the decanter itself, uh, whereby separating, you know, while you're pouring, that separates the, the sediment from the wine. Um, so, getting back to the question, decant or not decant? Uh, typically, you would like to decant a closed wine. Uh, well, let me take a step back. Um, today's wines are... A lot of today's wines actually are made to drink right away. Uh, where they're not aged in oak or they are aged in oak but in, in an extremely short period of time. Um, the reason why is they, they want to be able to sell wine rather quickly so people can consume it uh, now as opposed to buying a bottle and then storing it and waiting who knows how many years uh, so you can actually enjoy your wine now however those stronger wines like a California Napa Cabernet that's been oaked and aged in young new oak uh, which gives it a very tannic sensation which is that dry puckering feel you get when you drink a wine so a Napa California wine is extremely a lot of times extremely um, tannic and close so if you want to enjoy that wine now as opposed to waiting a few years for it to develop within the bottle and for those tannins to break down whereby leaving the sediment inside the bottle um, you would decant the wine Typically, you would decant the wine for about 30 minutes before you can enjoy it, really enjoy it. Uh, and then as it, as it sits in the decanter, it will develop very, um, very well and, and open itself as, as the minutes go by. Uh, the decanting process will allow it to will allow the wine to interact with the oxygen and break down all the tannins so that you would get a nice hopefully get a nice supple uh, full bodied wine that's very smooth and balanced within your uh, mouth so you can enjoy it to its top potential um, well it also depends on how well you've chosen this wine uh, if it's a it's a good wine or not typically when to decant again is to break down the tannins of a, an aged in oak wine uh, another reason to decant is for an older vintage wine you want to separate that wine from its sediment uh, you also want to soften it up and as well allow the oxygen to open up its aromas. However, you must be careful decanting um, an older vintage wine because an older vintage wine will have reached its peak. Typically a wine has, uh, reaches its peak around 12 years after bottling. Um, so, the older it is, the more danger it is for decanting too long. Because if you decant too long, then all those aromas and complexity and flavors ha will have dissipated even while, you've, while you're decanting. So then it leaves you with a flat tasting wine. Uh, so... Yes, you should decant an older vintage wine to separate it from its sediment, but you should also be careful about decanting too long. So it's a good, you know, it's an interesting balance to figure out, but it's fun uh, to figure that out because the only way to figure it out is to taste it. <laughs> um, and when you don't need to decant is a lot of times like a wine, a white wine maybe, uh, wouldn't need to decant because the acidity is already high there and the white wine is already fresh and it's most times a white wine is not aged in oak unless it's an oaked Chardonnay for instance uh, but uh, typically you don't need to decant a white wine uh, but sometimes people do if, if they feel that uh, at first taste 
the tannins are strong and they would like to soften it up. Um, but yeah, typically not necessary. Um, well, so there you have it. Simple, easy, when you should and shouldn't decant. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Leave me comments if you have questions about decanting. Um, leave it down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.